If your ink too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews. Hey folks, welcome to Larry's Mail Call. Hey, sorry I haven't been around for a while, but uh, I'm kind of taking a break uh, off and on. Uh, but I have a, a video that I need to get done, so I made my way here to the pin room so I can share it with you guys because I'm getting a few things in the mail and of course it's like Christmas. Um, I'm going through a, a, a tough time right now and uh, I'm trying to think things out in my head. Uh, uh, what's going on and, and, and the reasons why and the hows and the whens and uh, all I can say is it, it's some serious stuff happening but uh, just bear with me and uh, We'll get to this one way or the other with, with your help and prayers. Uh, we're going to rock. So let's get started down here on the box. And this box is from Jim Hines. And you all know Jim Hines, right? The pin maker here in Texas, right outside of Dallas. Isn't he, Mr. Announcer? Yes. So let's open this jewel up. Because you never know what Mr. Hines is going to be sending. He's going to send me a note for $5,000. All right. All right. Merry Christmas. And Mr. Hines, thank you, brother. And this is what I got. Now I'm teasing. Here we go. It comes nicely wrapped when you get something from Hines. And I do like these new pin cases that Hines has now. It's, uh, I think it's the newest thing here where the little uh, flap has that uh, uh, magnet closed thing. So that's cool. I do like it. It's sharp looking, nice presentation, and that's what it's all about when you're making a, a custom pin or you're selling a pin. I always have believed in a nice uh, looking pin case. It's all about not just the pin, it's all about the presentation in the pin and the quality of the pin, the making of the pin, <clears throat> the way the pin looks and feels. Those are all important factors uh, when I check out a pin, and of course, the most important part of any pin as far as I'm concerned is the heart of a pin. So let's open it up and here we go. Be the first and it is, look at here. Well, thank you Mr. Jim Hines. How did you know? Isn't that beautiful? And I will talk more about this pen. I gotta show you the nib. Yep. Gorgeous to die for, right? Well, that's what you can expect from Jim Hines Pen uh, Company. Uh, you're going to expect the best when you buy a pen from Hines. Seriously. Uh, I've known Jim, what, since 2015. And Jim has come a long way, in which I knew he would, because why? He's ambitious. He's got the talent. He's got the charisma. He's got the love the passion to make fountain pens, beautiful fountain pens, pens that are different, unique. Uh, so you know, you're going to get it right here with Heinz. So if you're seeing this video, give Jim a holler. Ask him about a pen like this or a pen that he has in stock or maybe ask him to make you a custom pen the way you want it. All right, folks, well, that's it for this one. Then we'll go to number two. Peace and love to you, Mr. Heinz. And there's a kiss from Mr. Hines. All right. And I'll be giving the review later on this. And we're going to go to number two. And this one comes from my buddy Federalist Pens and Paper. I think I know what this is. I had to order something because I needed something. And, uh, well, if I ever can get a box open, uh, I'll show you what it is. And I will be getting back on the uh, uh, Robert Oyster inks as soon as I get my head clear. And I've been waiting for a certain ink color from Mr. Oyster so I can do what I wanted to do with my inks. 
And uh, of course, Robert Orster rocks, doesn't he? Yeah, his ink pop. So here we go. This is from Frank at Federalist Pens and Paper. Now, Frank also does an amazing job of not only wrapping, but to get your packages on time to your house, safe and in a timely manner. So here we go. Here's another belt. And this is going to show you the Franklin Orchard, some of the inks, and down here you see, of course, Frank is one of the... Robert. I mean, Robert, I'm sorry, is one of the uh, uh, big dealers in my eyes that makes really great ink that pops. Just look at the colors of the ink, right? And so, yeah, which color of green do you think I'm looking for? There's a couple of inks in there that I need, desperately. So, anyway... But I can't tell you because then I'd give it all away the secret. So let's open this up. And I got a card for Larry and Jake. And I got a and I got uh and I got like this. And here they are. Remember what they're asking about? They're right in this box. Yay! Yay! Right in this box. Much needed, and I really needed them badly. So, of course, more of these. And uh, this is the young gentleman that sent them. So let's open these little jewels up. I don't cut my eyeballs out. All right. Yeah, you need to forgive me, everybody, because, you know, I kind of shut down as of Monday. I've been going through pretty difficult times, let's say. So anyway, uh, I'll let Mr. Announcer read that one out. Uh, oh, ROS Aqua. Okay. And that's R.O.S. Verde de Rio. And this R.O.S. is for Robert Robert Oster, Oster yes. Right. Uh-huh. River of Fire. Uh-huh. Forest Green. Uh-huh. Emerald. Uh-huh. Green Diamond. Now, okay. Now, remember, those are colors I needed because uh, Lena from uh, Pin Boutique, uh, Robert, you know, got with her and sent me a whole box of inks, and they're all great, fabulous inks, but I still needed some more inks so I can do what I'm going to do with the other inks. So, all right, here we go, one more time, and this is the... Tranquility. Robert Oyster, of course. Blue Water Ice. All of these are Robert Oyster. Lake of Fire. Uh-huh. School Blue, interesting uh -huh. name. Flaming Blue. And middle. last but not least. Soda Pop Blue. All right. Frank and Federal just pen some paper uh, in a little uh, thing on a Frank. Uh, if you get your orders in before Christmas, I, I think, uh, you see, Christmas is what, next? Saturday of next week, I believe. Okay, so if you get your orders in to Frank, it's going to have to be pretty quick because, uh, you know, of the Christmas uh Soon to be here on what, Thursday or is it Friday, Saturday? Well, that will be Saturday, but that will make Christmas Eve Friday, so it, it's going to be kind of chancy unless you get it in first thing Monday morning, maybe. Yeah, yeah. If, probably if you get it in first thing Monday morning, there may be a chance you can get that by Christmas Eve day. But you know what? I always check with uh, Frank at uh, Federalist Pens and Paper. You can call him, at least I would, at 1 866 746 4900. And, of course, you can always go to www.federalistpensonline.com to find Frank on Federalist Pins and Paper. Frank is a one-man uh, shop, but he will get back to you or answer the phone. He'll answer your emails. You find what you want. He'll hurt and get it out to get it to you as soon as he can get it to you. Because, remember, the holidays are upon us, and we need to act quick. All right. Now, here's something that I bought from Frank. That was a must. Now, Frank and I are on the same page, right? When these types of pins come out, Frank knows 
Larry. Got to order one. He doesn't have to ask. He orders them and they they come. Okay, because I I, I love these pins. Uh, they're one of my favorite brands. And so uh, ordered from Frank and Frank had to ship from Coles of London. Now Coles of London, uh, they've been on our uh, Zoom uh, pin hangout before. Good people, and they carry a bunch of great goodies out there. So here we go. So, uh, time to get this jewel open, and what do you think, here we go, why not, right, there it is, right there, so, uh, I do have a lot of things still working for ZoomGuest, I kind of, well, what I actually do, I, I, I really stay in my room. I, I need to you know, be by myself and get my head together. Uh, I, I don't want to mention anything right now because I'm just not up for it. So anyway, here it is. Oh, I don't get everything all over the floor, which I always do. No, that's okay, here we go. Oh. And that's what I ordered from Frank, a Visconti pin case. That's it. Aren't I good? Great, isn't it? I don't believe you. Oh, okay. Well, let's open it up. Here we go. And these are the new pin cases from Visconti. I do like them. They're sharp. They're good looking. Uh, now, you know, they're not putting as much money in the pin case, but they're still making it look sharp. They represent the pin inside for quality. And, you know, if you haven't tried the new Visconti, maybe it's time to give it a shot and see what you think is. Because, you know, we have different opinions, right? So, let's open this beautiful box up and show you this beautiful pen that's going to dazzle your eyes. If you want one, get a hold of Frank. Look at that Mr. Announcer. Mm, sparkly. Woo! I don't know if y'all can see it like this without the light on it, but it is something to look at. That is a gorgeous pen. Look at that. C can you see the sparkles in there, Mr. Oh, Nelson? yeah. It looks like a star field. God, it's gorgeous. It reminds me like you're out in space in the galaxy, and this is what you're seeing out there. I'm seeing put some light on this sucker. Can that any better? Uh, no, it, ooh, it, it's nice the way it is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is just to die for. That is more to die for. So, here we go. Let's take a look at this nib. And this nib, my friends, is abroad. And beautiful nib. Um, I need to tell you that it is a gold nib. Of course, it's a gold nib, Larry. So, of course, it's an 18K. Yep, gold, broad nib. Piston filler. Yes, it is. Look at that. Beautiful, is it not? That, really, that is stunning. And it is the new, do the honor, sir? Uh, Medici Astral Nova Blue. Now, I have Limited the, edition. Yeah, I have the other one, the first one that I got. And I loved it so much when I saw this one, had to have it. So I believe the other one's abroad, and this one's, no, the other one's a medium, this one's abroad. So the next one come out, I'll have Frank get me one in the, fine now i wish they come out with a double bra that would be awesome if they could do that so there it is folks uh now i'm going to put this up because we have one more i think that's uh where put all this where's the lid to this there it is okay all righty. So we'll put all this back in. All right, now, well, first let's go to Mr. Announcer. Mr. Announcer ordered uh, a pen from Mike Green, uh, the uh, pen maker as well. And uh, so we're going to open this little jewel up. Now, you all know that Mr. Announcer is more 
Well, he likes fountain pens. Uh, but he likes, uh, what kind of pens with that kind of stuff on it? Uh, oh, yeah, the uh, Celtic artwork. Yeah, he, the he, it's a Celtic. Celtic. That, Celtic, or whatever you want to call it. That's his thing, okay? And I'm into, I like that. Don't you think? Oh, yes. Yes. So, again, Mr. Jim Hines, thank you so much, buddy. You really blew me away. I didn't expect that, Jim. Not in a billion years. Not in a billion trillion years. Jim, as much as I've been through as of Monday, uh, that kind of helps, you know? Thanks. So anyway, let's get this little jewel open. And you get a card that says Jake. A lot. And this has a little bag. And this is for me, nothing. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? Thank you, Mike. So kind. So. All right, here we go. And of course, when you get a pen from Mike Green, they come in these little sacks, kind of things. They're uh, his little sock type deal. Uh, and with the ribbons, you can tie your pen around. Uh, Mike's wife makes these. So here we go. I'll show you the pen and Mr. Nelson. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that that blueberry or blue? Uh, yes, I think it was the blueberry version. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Just look at the work, the detail that's done on the trim. Wow. And this is a oh, twist, I bet, then, isn't it? Let's see, up here. Up here. The twist, mm -hmm. twist, twist. That is gorgeous knockout to die for. Mike, you did a great job on it, my brother. You know, Mike's uh, in the custom pin making like for eight months, and you got to give the man an A because he's doing an incredible job. And just wait while well, he'll be here next year. See what he's going to be progressing to because you take these baby steps. You just can't rush when you're making delicate custom-made pins. Uh, but this is a ballpoint, or it could have a rollerball in it. Rollerball. Rollerball, good, yeah. I'm more into rollerballs and gel pins than I am ballpoint pins. Ballpoint pins, uh, you, you have to put a little more pressure down on the paper. Uh, gel pins or rollerball pins, hardly any. It just pretty much smooth and goes on its own. So I think this pin, pin speaks for itself. There you go. And we'll put this, well, I'll put this over here at Mr. Announcer because I kind of keep them. And that goes over there. Uh, so we're going to do one more. Uh, so, uh, anytime uh, there's a Zoom meeting that I planned, I come heck or high water, I will be here because the show must go on. Uh, now, unless something has seriously happened to me, Mr. Announcer will come on and uh, uh, we haven't got that far yet and explain to everybody what's going on and uh, what I would want him to do, and he doesn't know this yet, is to finish the show. But he'll have help on there with him uh, because Tony would be there and Liz and uh, a good old room manager, a good old friend, Frank Overman. So, here we go. Don't know what this is at all. Hmm. It's all like that. The Tube of Love. Huh? Hello! Ooh. All right, here we go. I have no idea. I I didn't order anything. Oh, there's a strap. Uh, I wonder if this from Doc. I'll be darned. Uh, 
Would you like Larry to, would you like to read that? Let's see, surprise, this leather Oh, Leather Blotter Supply comes courtesy of Dr. Joe Vitola. Uh, it is my hope that you love looking at it and using it for many years. Well, Dr. Joe, again, I'm blown away. I did not expect this whatsoever. Doc, you're an amazing man. For doing what you do, you have done and given so much to the fountain pen community, I wouldn't know where to start. You know, you've helped so many people in your life. You have blessed so many people in your life. Why? Because you're that kind of guy. In the story. So, uh, Dr. Uh, Joe, as I call him, uh, not only is he a pen enthusiast, but he's also into calligraphy. Very deep and very serious person. And... Uh, I'll just show you some of his calligraphy right there. This man, in my opinion, knows his stuff. Uh, he has uh, videos on YouTube uh, and a lot of information that will help you achieve your goals if you're into calligraphy. Uh, Joe knows more than a lot of other people that I've met through the years because he's just, he's into this. This is his thing. This is what Doc is made of, you know? So again, Doc, thank you so much. And I will use it, count on that. So again, thank you to Joe. You're a blessing, my friend. Love you, man. To Jim Hines, a friend since 2015. We have rocked that road all the way to 2021. And God willing now, if everything goes off all right, I hope to be at your pad this coming summer. Hope. Uh, if not, I'll meet you on the other side. But anyway, uh, Jim is just an amazing guy. Now, Jim pins sells on their own. Jim doesn't need me or really any reviewer to review his pins. Jim has achieved those steps to get where he is today because the man has sweated, put his heart and soul in it. Even when he's hurting and sick, he's out in that workshop working and I'd be getting on Jim. Jim, you need to lay down. You need to rest. You need to get off your legs. You can't be doing this because I don't want to see you have get sick. Then you can't do this any longer. So, uh, I do appreciate all my time with Jim. And uh, believe it or not, I, I do miss Jim more than he knows. Uh, Jim is just an incredible custom pin maker. Uh, he's one of the top pin makers in my opinion. Uh, you got to give credit where credit's due, right? When when Jim makes pins, uh, they're never the same pin. The, the, the other pins are going to be slightly different, and most a lot of pin makers do that. Uh, you know, Jim, I remember when uh, Jim was working on uh, coloring the, the nibs, and I'll get into that review later. Uh, he started that a while back. Oh, he was talking to me about it, see what I thought. We were throwing that around. Uh, and he sent me, a, uh, I think, a nib cover. I, I liked it. And there were some things he was working on on the nib because he wasn't really satisfied with the nib. He wanted to make sure that nib was going to produce what he wanted. It was going to write the way he wanted. It wasn't going to uh, write, you know, it was going to write consistently, really, and, and it wasn't going to just stop on you. Uh, because when you're painting up them nibs, you got to be real careful. That's, that's some delicate work, I think. I, I'm just talking because I've never done it, but it seems to me like a job to do. Uh, you don't just get a spray can all over. I'm done. Goodbye. Put it in there. 
because you know I think at the tip of that nib well I'm going to call the brain that little tip it's got to be done right or I think it'd probably throw the whole thing off but Jim's come a long way experimenting doing this with pins this with nibs and I can remember the clips remember that Jim now, I'm a clip guy and uh I know, I know, I'm telling it, so I don't think Jim will get mad. Uh, so I finally convinced Jim, or maybe he was already convinced, I don't know. Go with clips, my brother. I want a clip. I'm not saying I don't like pins without clips, but I don't carry them as much as I would do with pins with clips. Because sometimes if I don't carry a pin case, I may carry one to two, even three, a little nerdy here, in my pocket. So that's why they're important to me, and they look good. Now, my favorite color of trim for a pen would be gold or rose gold trim. That's my all-time favorite, right? The chrome and silver palladium, they're okay. I mean, they'll work if that's the only colors they have. But I'm just telling you what I like, and I'm not saying those are bad. You know, that's just me, because you know, I have my own opinion. You know, my own likes and dislikes, like everybody else does. So, people may ask me, so why do you think Jim is such a great pin maker? Well, easily I can say that because, one, I know Jim. And not just because he's a friend of mine. But I would back Jim to Hades and back. I know the kind of man he is. I know the kind of heart he has. The integrity. The honesty. He wants people to be happy with his pens. His pens define who he is. With the love and the passion that he put in his work. This man works his heart out. Because he wants his pens that he sells to you, he wants you to be proud of the pen that you bought from him. Jim is an amazing man. I can go on and on about Jim. And he deserves this. Jim deserves it. Jim deserves the time now to win in the little contest they have in the magazine at the pen shows who is the best, who has the best uh, a custom pen made. Well, he's been honorable mention. That's great. That's a step up. But it's time for Jim to take the awards. He's worked hard. He works every day at it. He has a day job. He has his pen job. He works seven days a week. And he's going to keep doing it and doing it. And I'll be darned. Jim is going to get that award one day. So, do I like every pen that Jim makes? No. I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. But why is that? We all have different opinions, right? I'm not saying they're bad because what I may not like, you may like. Or what you may like, I may not like. But on the 90%, I love all the pens. Uh, I'm, I'm into to colors, but not all kind of multiple colors. Like the one Jib sent me, that's almost made me cry. Because when I saw this pen, I wanted it. And uh, I don't know if Jim heard me, but, uh, and I'm not going to cry on video, I promise him not. And so, uh, big boys don't cry, isn't that right, Mr. Announcer? Sure. Uh, so, uh, I miss you, Jim. I, I hope you understand that, Jim. Uh, I could talk about you all night because you're my bud. And Jim has helped me a whole lot. He has stood with me and supported me, believe it or not. He has done a lot for me as well. We kind of work with each other, helping each other. And I have a blast. When I review pens for Jim, I have a blast. And maybe hopefully one day I'll continue. I don't know. But uh, I want to wish the very best to Jim. 
And I know I'm going to see you grow. And I know you're going to do extremely well because you've shown your stuff. You've shown what you can do. You've had your ups and downs and you bounce right back up. You know, you make these beautiful pins and they're already made. And then all of a sudden, people pop up with the same pin that you made. But you made it first because I've seen it. And then later down the road, a pin will pop up just like Jim Hines made. And he's okay with that. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I'm glad to see that Jim is creating pins that he likes. And I believe uh, his family members, I believe his wife or daughter, uh, they kind of help pouring to mix the colors up. And they do a great job. But they're all under Jim's thumb. Jim really has to approve it. If he doesn't like it, it's scratch. If he likes it, he goes for it. Jim is a very particular man. And he can get pretty stern if needs to. This is his livelihood. This is about Jim. You know, you have to put feelings aside. And you have to think about your future. You have to think about what you're doing. So, I'm asking you guys. Do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Get online right now. Right now, get online. Call Jim or email Jim and uh, tell him what you like to order. And uh, I think what he has in stock is what he has to order. Uh, now, if you order a custom pin from Jim, that's going to take, well, the last time that I spoke with Jim, anywhere from five to six months because he's awful busy getting ready for pin shows. He's got to get that stock up. Okay, here's this beautiful pin that I keep going back to. And to be the God truth with you, it looks even better when you actually have it in your hand. You know, I love blue. I love the reds. And that white, I like that. I like that mixture of colors that flow together very well. And then as you go on the top, you have the sparklers in it, of course. And the blue and some red. And it looks like some purple in there. And a little bit of red and white may be mixed up in there. But it, it's just the right amount to make it look sharp, not gaudy. I don't like gaudy. And then, of course, the blue clip, it really works out super well. It matches the pin and the nib. So I will talk to you more about this. Now, if you want a pin like this or a different pin, or you want a custom-made pin, I've told you the God truth how I feel about it. Go to HeinzPins.com and you're going to get Heinz Pin Company on there. And you're going to get to his website, HeinzPin.com. And you fill out a form. And that's how you're going to get a hold of Jim. You know, you can fill out the form of what you want. It's pretty precise on in, to meet your needs. It's pretty simple. So... Folks, these are affordable. No, they're not low-end. No, they're not cheap. No, they're not high-end. They are affordable. So, you know, I, I don't know how much this pin is. I'm saying around maybe 300 bucks, 329 I'm not sure now. I'm just guessing. But if you have not bought a pin from Jim Hines... I think you should now. And do me a favor. It's not going to give you a discount or anything, I don't think. Just mention me. Uh, you know what would be cool if we could get buy a pin from each custom pin maker. That's what I plan on doing if I can afford it. And to see how they work. Because every...
custom pin maker is different. They have their own visions of how they want their pins to be. This has a nice polish on it. So it really feels good in the hand. And that's one thing I'm, I'm really pick, picky about. It's got to feel good in my hand. You know, I, I've got to know I have a pin in my hand. And to me, I would call it a quality made custom pin. So that's going to do it for today's mail call. And last, I'm going to leave it last. Two things. Frank from Federalist Pins and Paper. I love you, man. You're good people. Love Mark. Great brother. Hope your dad's doing well. Nadine. Good people. Indeedy. That's my heart. Thank you, Frank, for helping me through the years. And I hope to continue to help you any way I can. You know I'm there for you. I always have been. I never left you. Now, a little bit about Frank. Frank and I have been doing this since 2015. Frank was a school teacher, right? I think history, wasn't he? But his heart and love and passion was fountain pens. You know, when, when this hits you in the heart, that's what you're going to end up doing. And Frank did it. And he puts a lot of time and a lot of work in what he does. And he's starting back to make pin shows. It takes a lot of money to buy pins. Uh, there's a lot of work after you get your pins in. you got to get everything organized. And like I said before, if you order your pins, I'm thinking, I'm guessing, before by Monday, Frank will do his very best to get that out to you by Christmas Eve day. Because I still think they will deliver mail on Christmas Eve day. Didn't they last year? Yes. Because Frank is good about getting his packages out. Frank has extremely good service. He really does. Uh... And Frank's good people. He's honest. I mean, to the days long. Frank knows I need to take care of my customers. I need to give them the best products I can offer at the best prices I can offer. Because I want my customers to come back. I want to know my customers are appreciated. That's his whole thing. So... If you haven't tried Frank, give him a shot. If you have tried Frank, give him a shot again. Folks, that's going to do it for today. Frank, thank you for this monster pen. I haven't forgot. Put that smile on. And my love to you, Marky, Nadine, Didi, and your daddy. God bless each and every one of you. May God watch over you and protect you and guide you. Peace, love, and we're done.